I'm one of you now. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't complain. Welcome to the other side. Yeah. Coach, so, open briefly and then we'll take a few questions. Yeah, look, we're always uh, very supportive of you know, what the quarterback club here does. Um, do it for a great cause to support um, Children's Hospital here, um, which is something that you know, serves most of the people in our state in a very positive way. And we've always been in a partnership with uh, quarterback club and mixed kids uh, to you know, support kids every way we can. Uh, and we're get them uh, that, that's why we're here, and that's why we'll continue to be here in the future. And, uh, I don't know, do they have people that our coaches do this? Quite often, but uh, at least I'm not an outlier, right? <laughs> so, um, and I know you probably want to ask me about my new gig. Um, and I guess the way I could explain it is when you're coaching a team, you kind of look at everything through a straw. You, know, you look at your team, the team you're playing. So, um, this has given me an opportunity to look at college football in general from a thousand people. I never knew what Oregon was doing or Nebraska was doing or Texas Tech or any of those teams uh, prior to this. So it's been kind of fun uh, to be able to take a, a view of college football in a much broader sense and um, to know and appreciate some of the better players in the country that you know maybe you didn't get the opportunity to compete against in the past. So that's one of the things that um, has been a lot of fun. And of course, you know, I kind of like the team that we're with on game day, so that makes it fun as well. So, but, any questions? Nick, when you look at Alabama from an analyst standpoint, what do you see? Uh, I, I don't really analyze Alabama. I never take the lead. You know, I'm a fan now, so I think the message that I would give to everybody is the most important thing that all of us can do as fans for Alabama is to be supportive and support the program, support the players, support the coaches. Uh, and if we want to have that will enhance us to be able to have the best uh, solution in transition. Uh, because it's always a difficult transition when you have a fairly successful program and um, somebody else comes in and it's very challenging. And uh, so I've been very supportive of you know the players, the coaches, the team, the university in every way that I can. And I want to continue to do that and I would encourage others to do the same. Coach, when you talk about transition, you've done a great job of trying to stay in the way but still being supportive when they need you. What? But you left a standard. Do you feel like they're living up to that standard at Alabama? I don't think that's for me to judge. I know they're, everybody's given their best effort to do the best they can. And um, I would just encourage everybody to stay focused on playing to the standard, uh, not my standard, but the standard that their team has established. And I'm sure the players want to do that. I'm sure the coaches want to do that. What's your message to Kalen as he takes some criticism at this point in the season? Um, you know, just stay focused on, you know, what you have to do to try to make the team better. So, uh, look, I'm not going to get in a position to judge anybody. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan now. So, I want the team to do well, and I want our fans to support the team the best they can. Nick, what is the most fun about working on game here? Uh, sitting by Pat McAfee. <laughs> Being able to make no consequence picks. <laughs> I might be the worst pit picker in the history of all. I mean, when yeah. Miss Terry just completely kicks my ass <laughs> on game day in front of the whole world. I mean, how, how, how bad is that? Do you still hear about that at home? Oh, <laughs> better believe it. <laughs> Are you happy to be on the other side now as a fan? What is that like now since you've been I, 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 miss, I miss the relationships with the players. Um, but I think the fact that I have something to do and I'm involved in the game, uh, college football in general, uh, being a, having the opportunity to be on game day, still trying to do as much as we can to sort of embrace the integrity of the game uh, for the players and the coaches and the fans as well. So um, all those things have been a lot of fun for me. Last question. Coach. Um, as an analyst now, watching Arvin, what have you seen from them and why do you think they haven't been able to finish?
that certification is just being as an analyst uh, now in, in the world? Uh, I'm, I'm not here to judge, but um, you know, I think Hughes done a really good job. I think the team's playing hard. Uh, they put themselves in position to win, what, three or four games um, that they weren't able to finish, whether it was, you know, errors, turnovers, whatever it might be. Uh, and I think that, um, you know, they're doing a good job in terms of what they're doing. And obviously, you know, personnel was important to that. And I'm sure they'll build a positive program and use you know, some of these things that haven't worked out well for them as opportunities for them to improve in the future. All right, Coach, thank you. I, thank you.